Hello. I've been out finding out some facts about snakes. Did you know that there are snakes in every continent in the world except Antarctica? Did you know that snakes are carnivores? They eat meat. Now, they can't bite, so they have to swallow their prey whole and their jaws are specially designed so that they can do this. Did you know that snakes smell with their tongue? That's why you can see the tongues going in and out. Did you know that snakes are so different? There's great long ones, six meters long to very small ones. Some are poisonous and lots of them are not. The only poisonous snake we have in England is called the adder. Did you know that their skin is smooth? I didn't know much about snakes at all. And if you want to find out more, you need to look in a science book or online and look for some snake facts. That's where I found mine. Now, why was I looking it up about snakes? Well, we've been following the story of St. Paul. And we've jumped about a bit, but never mind. The other week, we had learned about St. Paul being taken prisoner in, in a boat, and then there was a shipwreck. Well, today's story it's about what happened after the ship had broken up on the shore of the island. John and Jean and Lorna are doing the lesson this week, so I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Hello, the theme for today's uh, Sunday School craft is snakes. Uh, here I've got some breadsticks, uh, imitating sticks that uh, Paul was collecting to, to go on the fire and I've got some uh, jelly snakes in for a nice little snack that you could hide and, and, uh, uh, and tease a friend. It's important that if you are making a fire, like for a bonfire, that you check that there are no animals underneath so they don't die. Here are some fruit kebabs, like, like snakes. You take a kebab stick and slide on your, your favourite fruits and you can use cocktail sticks uh, with fruit and uh, sultanas to make the eyes and cut um, the little, little tongue. Also, you could make a snake to go on your pencil. Uh, this is yellow and black. I've put the marks with, with felt tip pen for the black to make it look like a western whip snake that you would find in Malta at the time of uh, uh, St Paul's visit. Um, St Paul was used to seeing in Israel quite a few poisonous snakes so um, it would have been um, rather frightening to encounter a snake. In order to make one of these what you do is you take um, one of these pipe cleaners like these that I've got from Morrison's and I make a U then bend it back and make another U this is to make the bottom jaw and the top jaw of the snake's head bend one over onto the other to, and open the mouth out a little bit then take the pencil and wrap it round really tightly like the snake wrapped round St Paul's arm. Now because the end is sharp bend it over a little bit for the tail. You can use felt tip bend to make the eyes Cut a little tongue, a black tongue, and then put it in with glue. Enjoy your crafts.
hello again. Well, we've been hearing today about Paul again, and Paul has had a lot of things happen, hasn't he? He said he's already been imprisoned. He's um, we heard about him being on the shipwreck, didn't we? And how he had promised that everybody would be safe, and then when he's finally got to land, um, he's been bitten by a snake. So the snake bite, everyone was expecting that that would kill Paul, didn't they? But it didn't. He was absolutely fine because God looked after him again. And then he went on to preach his ministry and to heal loads and loads of people on this island that they were on at the time before he um, travelled on to Rome. And I think what we're learning is that with the things that we're finding out that happened to Paul, God can actually do anything. And the song I've chosen for us today is a song called God Can Do Anything, Anything At All. And that's as true today as it was in the time when Paul was preaching. So it's a really, really fun song. We did it in school in Open the Book not too long ago before we had to stop coming in because of the the lockdown and pandemic. But um, it's a really fun action song. I found a video that does some of the action so you can maybe have a go at singing it. It gets faster and faster and faster, so you'll need to see if you can keep up. Let's have a sing together. Okay, this is the video with the really fun actions, which we'll have a sing along to together. Um, and it gets faster and faster, so you'll have to get your speedy clogs on. Um, and I'll also ask Tony to put another video up with just the words on it, so that you can maybe, you might prefer that one, and you might want to make up your own actions, who knows. Here we go. So everyone, find a partner, turn to your partner now. We're going to take you right back to the playground, do a kind of playground song. Can you do this? We're going to do this. Clap, right, clap, left, clap, back, front, clap. And again, are you ready? Clap, right, clap, left, clap, back, front, clap. That's great. Now the actual words go like this. Just try it with me. Here we go. And God can do anything, anything at all. Keep going. Nothing can do anything, anything at all. Keep going. Nothing is too big for him and nothing is too small. God can do anything, That's great. Try this. Don't put him in a box. Try that. Don't put him in a box. Don't put him in a box. Don't shove him in a corner. Don't shove him in a corner. Don't you limit what he can do. Don't you limit what he can do. Don't put him in a box. Don't shove him in a corner. Don't you limit what he can do. You know, the Bible says that God calls the stars by name. He made them all. He made this whole universe. He made you and I. But you know what? He is so big. And actually, we're so small, but he loves us. You're important to him. And how cool is that? A song about how big God is. We have a really big God. Let's go for it. Go for it, band. Are you ready? Play a little bit of guitar. And then face your partner. Here we go. God can do anything. <laughs> well 
That was fun, wasn't it? Did you keep up? Um, I'll put another link for Tony to put on. Um, or Tony will put another link on with just the words. God can do anything, anything at all. And remember, if you trust him in your life, he can help you with lots of things too. See you soon. This is the prayer for Sunday School on the 30th of May. Let us pray. Thank you God for giving St Paul a second chance and protecting him as you do for us. We give thanks for the courage and beliefs of St Paul who lived in extreme danger to teach people about Jesus. Help us to appreciate people in any walk of life who are brave and courageous prepared to stand fast for what they believe, whatever the consequences. Amen.